prophet Isaiah writes, Thus says the High and Lofty One who inhabits eternity, whose name is Holy. I dwell in the high and holy place, and also with the one who has a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite. We have come together this morning through the gift of technology to worship God and offer ourselves, trusting that God will love us, meet us, and transform us. Welcome to this ancient way of worship, centered around sacred stories, hymns, and prayers. You can follow along in the bulletin posted online or in the links in the Calvary Scroll. No matter where you are on your journey of faith, you are welcome here. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us join the virtual holy warblers as they lead us in, Be Still, for the Spirit of the Lord. Lord, we pray that your grace may always precede and follow us, that we may be continually given to good works through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us reflect on the living word of God together. As Paul closes his letter to the Philippians, he exhorts them to marks of faithfulness and to love of one another for the sake of Christ. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. My brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. 
I urge Uedia and I urge Sintiq to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, and I ask you also, my loyal companion, help these women, for they have struggled beside me in the work of the gospel, together with Clement and the rest of my co-workers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is in any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray together Psalm 18. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my stronghold, my crag, and my haven. My God, my rock in whom I put my trust, my shield, the horn of my salvation, and my refuge. You are worthy of praise. I will call upon the Lord, and so shall I be saved from my enemies. The breakers of death rolled over me, and the torrents of oblivion made me afraid. The cords of hell entangled me, and the snares of death were set for me. I called upon the Lord in my distress, and he cried out to my God for help. He heard my voice from his heavenly dwelling. My cry of anguish came to his ears. He reached down from on high and grasped me. He drew me out of great waters. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into an open place he rescued me because he delighted in me. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Once more Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding banquet, but they would not come. Again, he sent other slaves, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Look, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen, and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they made light of it and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. While the rest seized his slaves, mistreated them, and killed them, the king was enraged. He sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their cities. Then he said to his slaves, The wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore into the main streets and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. Those slaves went out into the streets and gathered all whom they found, both good and bad, so the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing a wedding robe, and he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding robe? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot, and throw him into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. 
During challenging times, you have to look for support and encouragement, sometimes in unusual places. For our stewardship committee this year, we didn't have to look at an image born from God's rich creation, but instead we looked right here in this building filled with beauty and light that we all miss so much. We were drawn to this anchor, a symbol of strength in the midst of this storm. We found the words of Psalm 18, which you have heard read today, though they are not usually part of our three-year Sunday cycle of readings. In Psalm 18, we hear the words of a man who has fled enemies by hiding in dark caves, has self-isolated in the most extreme sense. A man who has lost children in battle. An imperfect person, nevertheless called a man after God's own heart. And King David offers this song, this song of praise at the end of of his days. He offers in the opening line a confession of his love for God. He offers his worship because God is worthy. He reflects on the God who protected him and kept him close through every trial. But God also David also remembers the tremendous suffering the dark nights and stormy seas that he endured, how he cried out to God from that lonely place we must all walk, tired from the changes and chances of this life. And David remembers how he was heard. That God responded, that the anchor, it turns out, holds and lifts us up into an open place where we are safe and free and fear no more. The final words echo the first. God responds to David's love and life with pure delight. So our invitation to stewardship this year revolves around this question. What has happened to you in the storm this year. You see, people who face a great challenge together emerge closer to each other at the end. We are meant to grow stronger from the storms we face. And though 2020 has at times felt like a Cat 5 hurricane that has stalled over the whole world, we are discovering the powerful truth that together, we are stronger than the storm. So we have invited you to reflect on how you are caring for yourself, to reflect on how you are closer to God, to those in your bubble, how you're closer to family and friends, even across the miles, how you perhaps in the quietness grown closer to yourself. We've invited you to spend a moment thanking God for bringing us this far and to reflect on the truth that God delights in you and in me and in us. And as we cling to our anchor, our anchor, our God and our Calvary community, God is even now bringing us through this storm stronger and loving us more than we could ever imagine. Amen. Let us affirm our faith in the God of creation through the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. 
Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Prayers of the People Let us pray for the Church and for the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others, and to your honor and glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours, and grant that we may serve Christ in them, and love one another as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body or spirit, or mind. Give them courage and hope in their troubles, and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled, and we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. As most of you have now likely heard, Carol, a dear beloved member of the Calvary family, unexpectedly stepped into eternity late Friday afternoon. So for our concluding colic today, let us pray for her and all who grieve and remember her glorious life. O God of grace and glory, We remember before you this day our sister Carol. We thank you for giving her to us, her friends and family, to know and to love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until by your call we are reunited with those who have gone before. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, We confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will 
and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. I invite you to exchange peace with those you are with, or those dear people we all carry in our hearts. Welcome to Calvary Episcopal Church, where we celebrate the good news of Christ Jesus through worship, loving community, and service. You know what sounds great to me after online church on Sunday? Barbecue. That answer is true for everyone who lives in Texas. Next week, friends, your dreams will come true. The Brotherhood of St. Andrews is hosting a barbecue fundraiser to benefit Calvary next Sunday, a week from today, from 11 to 3.30. The food is going to be amazing. It's being prepared by our own Brotherhood members. So reserve your plate and pay by going to cecbastrop.org slash bbq dash plate dash orders. Or you can also very easily click on the link in your Calvary scroll. Vestry and council delegate elections are coming up November 8th through November 15th. Sarah Clayton, our senior ward, and I will be hosting a vestry discernment meeting today at 11.30 a.m. on Zoom. This is a great way to learn about the leadership ministry of the vestry, what projects we see on the horizon, and whether God might be calling you to serve. The link is in the Calvary Scroll this week. Uh, no RSVPs or reservations. Uh, you can just join us if you're interested. You all also have the opportunity to be to take part in Diocesan Council. Next February 26th and 27th, the gathering of delegates uh, from the 160 or so uh, churches and institutions in the Episcopal Diocese of Texas. What's really unique about next year's council is it will all be held virtually. So you don't have to spend a night away and uh, all of that kind of stuff that can complicate things. If you would like to be involved, uh, and serve as one of Calvary's four delegates, please email or contact Sarah Clayton or myself. Next Sunday, in addition to Barbecue Day, is Commitment Sunday, where we will celebrate your generosity and how God has made us stronger than the storm. One group that wanted to share their storm story is our morning prayer group that now prays every weekday at 9 a.m. on Zoom. If you want to take part in Commitment Sunday, we invite you to send in your pledge by Friday or bring them in person next week when you come to worship or to get your barbecue plate so we can gather them all up and offer them to God in prayer. You can make your pledge and continue supporting Calvary's mission and ministry by mailing your gifts and pledge card to P.O. Box 721, Bastrop, Texas 78602, dropping them off at the office during business hours, uh, or visiting cecbastrop.org slash giving and click the green give button. Below that, there is also an online pledge card, so, it, uh, so it's as easy as possible. We have some birthdays and anniversaries to celebrate today. I want to wish a happy birthday to Mary, Christine, Susan, Georgia, Will, and Lily Kai. Have a great day. Let us pray. O oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on your servants Mary, Christine, Susan, Georgia, Will, and Lily Kai, as they begin another year. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace, and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We also have an amazing wedding anniversary, a milestone to celebrate today. Congratulations to Peggy and Mark as they celebrate their, wait for it, 68th wedding anniversary. My goodness, congratulations. That is a magnificent accomplishment. As we celebrate with you, let us pray.
Grant, O God, in your compassion, that Penny and Mark, having taken each other in marriage and affirming again the covenant which they have made, may grow in forgiveness, loyalty, and love, and come at last to the eternal joys which you have promised, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Paul reminds us, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present yourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Let us pray together in the words Jesus has taught us boldly to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Turn his loving countenance towards you and fill you with peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you forever. Amen. Let us join the virtual Calvary choir as they lead us in rejoice, ye pure in heart. serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.